Hi, hello to everyone. Rachel here on March the 8th, 2022. Uh, disclaimer, it is 2.36 p.m. and I am not quote unquote late for my reading. However, uh, the disclaimer is, is that I get up at, I start getting up at 3.10 in the morning and I am at work uh, by a very early hour. So readings will take place when they take place. Because here's the thing, the false god of time really rules a lot of us. And when we start stepping out of that rule of time, it becomes very interesting how things begin to flow, okay? So that's why you have to have plans that are flexible because if you're flexible, hey, it's gonna instantly manifest because you're pumping so much love into it. You're sitting there going, fuck yeah. As soon as you become consciously aware of what's going on, everything really starts to shift quick, okay? And that's, the, that's it right there, conscious awareness. You have to be conscious knowing your feelings, knowing that your mind's talking to you instead of you being the commander of it, okay? Knowing that time is trying to rule you or you're making time your God. So there you go. There's my disclaimer. I won't go into too much right now because I could really get on one. <laughs> right now, I'm really disinterested in actually doing this reading because the Kuan Yin deck by Aliana Fairchild has been what's been calling me all day. And I know that this morning I have I take a tendency to get to work early. Like my mom said, you were six weeks early, you've been early everywhere since. Yes, this is very true. I love doing that. I just, I, I don't care if I gotta sit and wait for an hour, two hours. I don't care if I, I don't care. I will wait. <laughs> um, but I really started feeling into all of the energy, this the gold energy, okay? And I started feeling it, let's put it this way, Thursday, Thursday and Friday, I was, I couldn't wear enough gold. And then when I found out why, I was like, whoa, that is so cool, you know, to be in that divine flow of your knowing. And when you're in that flow of your divine knowing, then anything is possible. It's really, truly possible. Now, don't get me wrong, you're gonna have to surrender because everything in you is going to stop, they're gonna try to stop you, okay? And that's your momentum, why would you do that? You know, energy is greeting energy, that's your momentum and your creative capacity. And I am in that right now, okay? It is being aware, not projecting. Okay, when you're projecting, you're literally projecting your feelings, your emotions, and because we're so good at this, okay, we're all really good at density. That's where psychology comes in. That's where sociology comes in. You can sit here and, like the quote I told you about yesterday, you know, I'd rather be happy than right. That's where the psychology comes in because you can sit here and go, Gone it, I was right, you know, because we're creatures of habits. Okay, if we if we're making and we do and we make time our God and everything, we don't get to see the highest potential in everybody. You don't sit here and see the love and feel the love. And I'm telling you this morning, and since that time with the golden energy, it has been nothing but the embrace of love really feeling it, really anchoring it, and accepting the fact that, hey, this is happening. This is going, it's gone. You know, what I do with it right now, you know, everyone's outcome is assured. Everyone's outcome's assured, 100%. Whatever you have come here to do, you're gonna do it, all right? How you get there, whether you're consciously aware of it or not, is, the, the the big paradox, I guess. I don't know how to quite say that, but I know you know what I'm talking about. So with that, oh, I knew it was gonna come up. I knew it was gonna come up, I knew it, I knew it. I didn't even read it yet, but I knew it was gonna come up. I was like, that's my card. So this is my card. I knew it was my card. All right, let's read it. Let's find out. Ooh, Mother Fierce. 
Mother Fierce is your guardian. Nothing can penetrate the passionate fire of her fearless love. Your safety is assured. In the midst of the apparent challenge or threat, no matter how frightening it may seem, no matter how insecure you might feel about taking a step on your spiritual path into more power, know that you are safe, you are protected, you are loved. Oh, hell yes. I am, I know this. Um, and I, I kind of goes to work, my job. And I actually have a video for that. I did that today, but I was talking about something else. So anyway, on the way home, I was thinking, you know, the fast food chain that I work at, that store was only doing $630,000 a year for consistently and sales dropping consistently for about five years. And when I walked into it, it was truly a bleh. In order to get it turned around, I started reading the, the reviews on it, okay? And I started watching the people, you know, you gotta use the tools that you're given, okay? Right? Even though I'm sitting here talking to you about spirituality, you have to know, be consciously aware of it. Yeah, everybody wants to be in a box, go this way. <laughs> so it came down to empowerment. These guys didn't know what was expected of them, okay? And a lot of people would tell me, oh, you need to have, this place needs infrastructure, this, this, and this. Well, with this card here, I knew I was walking into a hornet's nest. And it took till 2018 in which my assistant, because they had the award ceremony in 2019, who finally became the GM, I waited for him to take the GM position, um, collected the award, saying that the that was the most improved store of 2018 because she was finally making $1.2 million, okay? And it took a solid three years of paying attention and empowering the people with the little videos and stuff and then quizzing them, you know, what's your whole time here? How much, what's your temperature here? Let's not kill the public and let's, let's, you know, clean this and let's make it family friendly again. And we did, you know, I had the best retention rate there was. That store hadn't seen retention rate in a long time. It had a lot of high theft too. Yeah, imagine the creme de la creme of worse. But it was an extremely empowering, empowering moment. And those empowering moments can be kind of scary, which is why when you start waking up, you know, okay, I can walk this path. I know that there's going to be things they challenge you to say it's not real when it sure in the hell is <laughs> so and i don't know why i keep going back to that for some reason so i'm gonna have to investigate that further because now i'm consciously aware of it and it could be an energy stream who knows someone coming after the chakras who knows and you know paying attention you got to pay attention when we pay attention we become unstoppable Okay, because now we're going, oh, that's my psychology. And I actually said that to somebody a oh, couple of years ago. Well, I say a couple, a couple is not two years. This is back to 2016, 2017. I know my psychology right now. I really felt defeated, betrayed, hurt, the whole nine. Okay, I even went to a stoop of having alcohol, a lot of consumption of alcohol to the point where I had actually had a cyst on my liver. All right, the worst thing in the world, hurts like crazy. So pulling myself out of that was not easy, but the people, the right people always came forward to help me, which is fascinating. I'm sitting here just watching and, and looking at the reflections in the mirrors because we're all mirrors and reflections to each other. I was like, oh, well, thank you. Because you know, but you don't know, all right? So know that you are loved that your path is assured, that no matter what, you are safe and protected, okay? That you are loved so much. The feeling, the overwhelming feeling of joy cannot be taken away from you. And it, I keep going back to right now, I am just, 
for all intents and purposes, people keep telling me, why are you so happy? They keep asking me that question. And I'm like, because I am. And I'm, I'm getting happier. Do you know that that actually changes your body? That changes the chemical endorphins that are released? I bet you 10 to 1 it's igniting the dormant DNA that science has yet to be able to say, why is it still sleeping? And that's science. That's fine. We're vibrations, you know? So be in the flow of you. Let it keep coming out. So have fun. Be aware. Do the best you can. Have mercy on yourself. Forgive and love. Watch what you say. Every word manifests. Every thought tries to manifest too. If you want a clock watch, clock watch. If you want to start stepping out of time, cover your clocks. Be aware that, hey, I'm going to be in the right place at the right time. But I wanted to give you the disclaimer first. <laughs> All right. Talk to you folks later. Bye for now.